Hey guys, it's Mikey's Mind. Welcome back to uh, me reading through, reviewing the top 100 books as voted for in the BBC Big Read many, many years ago. Um, one of the books uh, in 71st place, uh, ranked 71, is Perfume by Patrick Siskind. Now, I've never read Patrick Siskind as far as I know, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but Perfume, the story of a murderer. It's a thriller, horror um, tale of so many things, which I'll get into, but as I say, I'd seen the film before. I have I have seen the film and I saw the film years and years ago and I found the film visually fascinating, um, stunning to look at. I vividly remember the um, bridge. There's a bridge in this, um, in this um, book. Uh, I believe it was in Paris and it's just a hugely populated bridge with houses and flats and buildings and shops and workshops, mini little factories and leather working shops and whatever all piled up on this bridge and i remember the bridge collapsing so i remember little bits from the book uh, from the film anyway the book was fascinating um in so many ways i'll start by talking um, a little bit about what happens and then i'll kind of get into my main the things that stood out most to me so i'll start with the uh, blurb jean baptiste grenouille born in a parisian slum and abandoned on the streets discovers he has an extraordinary near superhuman sense of smell as he sniffs his way across france the gift is exploited by Grenouille to make the world's most marvellous perfumes. Yet in seeking perfection in his experiments, he realises that a vital ingredient is missing for the perfect scent. Innocence. And in order to get the ingredient he needs, he must capture it, whatever the price. And the book's been called Totally Absorbing by the Daily Telegraph there, and I get that. Um, so you have Grenouille, who has this incredible sense of smell. He's born... The, the descriptions in this book are so rich for all of the senses um i think if you it's one of those books I don't, I don't know how to really word this but it's one of those books where it has there's no one word repeated twice every single adjective is rich and descriptive and plucked from the depths of a dictionary and it's just it's so powerful and overwhelming to the senses so for example when he's born he is born i believe in a marketplace into a gutter and the baby drops among the animal excrement and the fish spines and the slops from you know it's it's so graphic so rich so overwhelming it's sort of sickening visually audibly sort of <laughs> this the smells i mean it is it is really really truly overwhelming i've never read anything quite like it um and i don't swear in this uh, on this channel ever really but I will just say the, the use of the word shit in this book is <laughs> the best use of it I've ever seen. Um, whether it's coming from a cat or whether it's an opinion of something, it's fascinating. Um, so Siskind's language is is foul and, it, and it's, it's perfect for what he's describing. Whether it's Parisian slums or French countrysides or a cave or a little science laboratory factory thing, chemicals and smokes and perfumes how these perfumes are created the, the knowledge that Siskind has is, is quite staggering really about bases and base notes and top notes and combinations and the time the alchemy the the, the chemistry that's behind it absolutely fascinating and Grenouille has no scent but he they worry that he has no scent it's not human to have no scent of his own and so he's got this incredible ability to it's like almost like a dog just you know they say dogs see in smells um it's almost like that you know you imagine him visually seeing clouds of, of smells and when he goes near the Seine for example the river um, this river is a sort of soup and he can smell every aspect of it everything that's ever gone into it everything that's ever decomposed in it the layers on the top oil and god knows what else and just fascinating um, and also really really truly dark because his pursuit of these perfect scents lead him into boiling down human essence um coating cloths in these oils and things and then wrapping bodies in that cloth so that the the oil and the cloth will absorb all of these these oils and essences and smells and excretions from the body and it's so it makes you really unsettled physically i mean if you're weak of stomach this is so not the book for you uh, nor is the film for you it's it's so dark and disturbing it, but in such a unique way i've never you know i've never felt about a killer as i do Grenouille. he has such a gift and it's so it's abused and his life as well i mean i remember an entire chapter in his life 
long period where he's lives like a sort of caveman almost um yeah i read the book about a month ago and it's it's kind of hazy but um i'll never forget the the language the the, the smells the feelings at the pit of your stomach um really quite disturbing and apparently the book received almost international acclaim. It's unanimous in its praise. It's one of the finest German books of all time. It's been translated into dozens of languages and it's sold over 20 million copies. So I think there is a, a fascination. I think there's an obsession. I think there's a peeking behind the curtain. I, I don't want to look, but I need to type thing. Um, and again, something so relatable as smell, the sense of smell and the emotions that we connect with them it's such a, everyone will know anyone who's had a memory sparked by a smell an aftershave you wore 10 years ago or uh, i mean for me it's things like um it's let's say like april or may when you first put on sunscreen you should wear it whenever the sun's out i know but let's say you get to spring and you put on sunscreen and you're taken back to the summer before it's it's so powerful for me i have such a strong sense of smell it's it's overwhelming at times like and when I was reading the book, I was relating because I'll walk into a room and I will be aware of three, four, five different smells. It feels like so dust in the carpet, for example, or curtains or, you know, I will feel as though I can smell all those things. It's it's really quite strange. And I'll walk into a room and smell something and go, my goodness, what is that? And everyone will go, what? And it's it's really weird. It's so intense. Um, and, I, and a little side note, I recently had some work done on my spine and and. I feel like my sense of smell is even stronger since then. Weird, I know. But anyway, um, so this book's hugely popular and um, I can see why. It's disturbing. It's memorable. It's so human in its... Because it, it's the human senses. It's so powerful. And I will leave it at this. The um, final scene or scenes um, are just some of the most disturbing, um, graphic and violent and physical i don't know it, it really is disturbing and um Grenwy's demise um is is fascinating he almost becomes victim to his own skill and his own artistry um humans are painted in a way portrayed in a way that is so disturbing this the scent of this perfume that he's created the effect it has on them you know it's any, any if you've ever seen horror zombies anything like that, any kind of bloodlust i think is quite terrifying and we have that and then we also have the effect on the people um, if you've seen the film or if you've read the book you'll know what scene I'm referring to I won't go into detail at the end but this intoxicating effect that it has on people and the things that it drives them to do it it totally dissolves inhibition and that really does seem quite dangerous and I think the scene that I, from the book the scene I remember most is the reckless abandon that these people enjoy momentarily um, in this mass interaction shall we say um i want to keep my <laughs> channel clean uh this mass interaction that they enjoy at the end the shame when they wake up and come out of this they come back to their senses pulling their clothes on and doing their trousers up and the shame that's attached to them and they can't quite believe who and what they've just become a fascinating fascinating book um and i can see why it's in the top 100 um never read anything like it probably will never read anything again like it uh, but will remember it forever so on we go with the top 100. I think I've read about 10 now from the list, making my way through it slowly. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video and um, I'll see you soon. Take care.